Welcome to lecture 14 of Aerospace Propulsion. Today we'll talk about dynamic scaling and engine performance. This is sort of one extra bit of analysis that we can do before we actually move on to the detailed design of the turbo machinery in our jet engine. So we can look at kind of some dimensional parameters, uh, more or less, we're going to say, because some of the di dimensionless quote unquote groups that we're going to use are not actually fully dimensionless um, by kind of industry convention more than scientific rigor. But we can use this approach to develop the dependence of some engine parameters on others. And the uh, one of the ways that we'll apply this is we can estimate the engine performance uh, at different altitudes and flight Mach numbers if the non-dimensional operating condition of the engine is constant. And so a useful application of this is we're going to be able to look at the consequences of losing thrust from one engine during cruise and what you have to do to be able to continue to fly the aircraft efficiently with only one engine. So the key messages to take away from today's lecture are that constructing non-dimensional groups that characterize the engine performance and operating condition uh, really does require consideration of the relevant physical processes. And in general, any non-dimensional group is going to depend on two others for engines. But if the nozzles are choked, then there's no dependence on flight Mach number, so we only have one independent parameter uh, that ends up being needed. And even with an unchoked core, for high bypass ratio engines um, that have a high uh, overall pressure ratio for the core, the performance roughly is going to only depend on a single parameter, even if it's only the bypass that's choked. So we'll start by assuming a mixed flow nozzle um, with a bypass ratio so greater than 10. So basically we assume that at the exit of the engine, or at least the exit that we're considering, the bypass and core flows have already mixed together um, and the bypass ratio is so high that um, we really only have to think about the flow in the bypass. Um, or, or, or that it's fully mixed, either way, kind of equivalent. And so the engine is essentially controlled by uh, controlling the mass flow rate of fuel, either directly or indirectly. And any variable in the engine can be expressed as a function of the mass flow rate of fuel, the atmospheric temperature, the atmospheric pressure, and the flight speed. When we consider our inlet stagnation quantities, these combine the flight speed and the atmospheric conditions. So only unchoked nozzle performance um, doesn't depend on the stagnation quantities of the engine inlet and the fuel mass flow. Everything else um, depends on those stagnation quantities and the fuel mass, uh, fuel mass flow. So we use the stagnation pressure and temperature to combine the atmospheric pressure and temperature with the flight speed. So we get P naught two and T naught two. Of course, we, we know how to get these. We've been doing this already. If the nozzles are unchoked, then we separately need to consider the atmospheric pressure PA. So basically we need to know two of the, th of the three following things uh, if we're dealing with an unchoked nozzle. We need to know the static pressure in the atmosphere. We need to know the inlet stagnation pressure and the flight speed or Mach number. So two of those three is sufficient. Um, and then we have uh, the dependence of the engine parameters on the full list of four things that we gave earlier. But high bypass uh, ratio engine nozzles are not always choked. Um, for say a fan pressure ratio of 1.5, um, the nozzles are not always going to be choked. The bypass nozzle will be choked at cruise, as we discussed before, but not for static conditions or even for takeoff, where Mach is maybe 0.25. The core nozzle, on the other hand, is always going to be unchoked. So let's think about this a little bit more. What's the reason that the core nozzle is always going to be unchoked? And for a modern high, bas high bypass ratio engine, even when the bypass nozzle is choked, the core nozzle would normally be unchoked. Why? So think about this question for a few minutes and try to come up with an answer for yourself before you move on to the next part of the video. And we'll also discuss this question during the tutorial. <coughs> 